again, it does not matter, getting back to this music, getting back to this song and stuff, it does not matter that you think that you are singing to the correct God. I will say it again. It does not matter that you think you are singing to the correct God. When these people write their music and they have a twisted view of Jesus and the gospel, it does not matter if the song is okay scripturally and you think you are singing to the right God, you throw it out. It is not designed and built for the true Jesus. You throw it out. Stop with the excuse. Stop with that excuse. Why is it that important to you? Why is that song so important to you? Why is that music so important to you that you're willing to overlook the heresy and false view of the writer that you have to have that song? Think about that. Ask yourself. Ask yourself that question. If you're one of those people that makes that excuse, I want you to ask yourself. Truly, after this, sit down and ask yourself, why does this music have such a hold on all these people in these churches that you will make any excuse possible to have it? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself why you are so enchanted with that music that you're willing to throw all of that out just because, well, I'm singing to the right God. Why are you so enchanted by the music that you have to throw all that out to keep that song? Why? Ask yourself. Ask yourself why you'll make all these excuses to have it. Could it be that it has a white magic enchantment on it where it's willing to make you sit and compromise the gospel and the truth because you want that song. It makes you feel good. The lyrics just hit you right. The tone is just right. That's enchantment. And it's overtaking the truth. That's how dangerous this is. People don't realize that Satan's greatest tool today is his music. But bar none, people want to talk about, well, he's got the governments and he's got all this stuff. I don't care. I don't give a rip. His greatest tool today is music. Secular and CCM, Christian, whatever you want to put it, worship music. Because it will turn people who have the strongest belief in the Bible and that it will allow them to compromise just a little bit to set that aside because they like that song. He's got you. He's got the little chink in your armor, he sees it. He's, he's exposing it. That's how he works. He finds the smallest little hole and he worms his way in there. Ask yourself why you're so willing to compromise just on one thing. Come up with any excuse possible to hang on to that song, to hang on to that artist to hang on to that music. If you answer correctly, you're not going to like the, the answer you receive. But hopefully you'll make a change from it. It's enchantment. This songs, this music is built for exactly that. <laughs>